Good day to everybody. It's November 29th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. And this is kind of a calm before hopefully something video. <laughs> there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. There is a chance that we could get a snowflake tonight. Um, a snowflake and a rain shower tomorrow. So we do have a chance to see our first snowflake. That's according to Ben Brissy from Ben's Weather. My friend. <laughs> Um, and <laughs> he sent me a text. I put it in the community section of this channel so you guys can check out what his forecast is uh, via text message to me. So check it out, see what you guys think. But yeah, that's why we are doing a calm before hopefully something. Just keep your fingers crossed, guys, because we could really, really, really use it. Hope you all are having a great, great day. I just, uh, I wanted to take a second and really quickly thank Merced and Sylvia Medina. They sent me a $50 check um, to help out. And guys, it's it's so helpful. Gas and with as much as I drive is just unbearable. So thank you guys so much. Like that, it came at the right time. <laughs> like I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, you, I mean, just selfless, 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 kind people. Um, I could never do this without you guys. I really couldn't, but as I always promise you, I, I will never ever let you down. I will always bust my butt and never miss a storm. And once again, Merced and Sylvia Medina sent me a $50 check. So that's awesome sauce. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks guys. And one of our longtime fans friends I should say that fan word kind of makes me feel pompous because you guys are my friends wanted a shout out so Sasky Martian what up dude shout out to you my man thank you for being here for so long for so many years I appreciate it that's awesome um, I'm just beyond stoked to have you guys here I, I, I just never imagined this channel would get to where it's going right now and don't forget also you have till the end of today to purchase from BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to save 15% for our Black Friday week-long sale. The uh, code is TURKEY15, TURKEY and the number 15. That's how you'll save 15% store-wide. Don't forget, you gotta get everything before. Uh, yeah. Before, I, I think 11.59 p.m. is when it expires tonight. All right, there's Bear Mountain. Guys, the uh, BigBearWeatherAndMore.com site has been just going crazy. Like, I, I would have never expected this. Like, it's just, thank you for the support. I, <laughs> blown away, completely shocked. Never imagined that this would ever happen to me. So, um, thank you guys. Thank you guys. And I just, I, I hope you guys love the stuff. Hope you love supporting what I'm trying to do here. Um, I really do have a passion for this. And I know it might be kind of weird, but I love doing it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys again for just being a, a huge part of that. So we just took a quick little drive by, by Bear. Usually what I love most about doing the calm before the storm video is usually we'll have already a little bit of snow on the ground. So you can see what the town looks like well, obviously you can see now what it looks like before we get snow, but you can usually see like with what snow we have on the ground, what it looks like before the storm. And then once we get to the aftermath video, which is um, after the storm, then you can see the huge difference. And I just love seeing that. I, I, I don't know why it's so special to me and, and such a feel good type of video, but I really enjoy it. And it's also good because it, it gets a lot of you guys pumped up and ready for it also. Um, there's a lot of you guys who, after you watch the Calm Before the Storm video, um, you're literally up here like that next day for the storm, which is just so cool. But again, don't expect much from this one, if anything. But because Ben Brissy told me that there is that that chance, you know, I'm, I'm always gonna go with what Ben says, because Ben is definitely the man. He is the weather god. I look up to that guy so much. He is such a cool dude. 
Such a cool dude. Anyway. Yeah, guys. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hope you stayed safe. Hope you most of all got to spend some quality time with your loved ones. Um, so important. And obviously, always, always, always try to be in that state of gratitude. No matter how down and out we are in life, because I get really, really depressed. So important, especially when you're feeling like that, to just write out a list of everything that you're grateful for from the simplest things, you know, uh, from a roof over your head to running water to gasoline for your vehicle, just your vehicle, your family, your friends, your job, your pets, everything that means something to you. It's just always, always important, at least for me to, to try to stay in that state of gratitude because life will be so much, so much better emotionally if you can live like that. And I'm, I'm, I don't practice what I preach a hundred percent. Like I do the best I can, but sometimes I, I lose track of, uh, of trying to stay grateful. And then I notice it in my life every day when things start getting worse and worse for me. And so yeah, guys, we all live in this world. It's a tough place to be. Just supporting each other, being friendly to each other, showing, showing each other love and compassion is really important. I'm always here for you guys. You guys know that. And you guys have always clearly been here for me. So thank you. Well, let's get back to the storm. So there's a slight chance this evening um, I don't know if maybe closer to like midnight or what, but that could be the next video if we get a, a couple snowflakes coming down. Even if it's just one snowflake, guys, I will find it. I will find it. I have an unusual set of skills. A particular set of skills. But yeah, right now we are on a street called Brownie Lane. Let me actually... Uh, this a little bigger than the top. Really? <laughs> I mean, come on. Be careful, the drivers up here. No joke, you guys. Be very, very, very careful because it's it's almost like they drive blindfolded. You just gotta be extra cautious trust me you gotta be extra cautious all right so we're gonna head by summit real quick as well check out the scene see what's the cracks what's crack a lacking at summit but I'll tell you what I am I am so ready to start driving through some snow and having some fun on the roads I am ready, and I know you guys are ready for it too. That's what made this channel grow so much was, uh, you know, driving through the nice deep snow and showing you guys what's going on in the Southern California mountains. The only technically four season area in Southern California. Obviously, right wood, but they don't get down to freezing every night in the winter time. We do, and then some. <laughs> Wrightwood will, will sometimes get significantly more snow than, than we get, which is pretty cool. So, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna tell this guy that I'm gonna turn around real quick. Thanks, brother. Have a good day, sir. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Guys, this is, this is my good, good friend Ryder right here. Best friend right <laughs> here, dude, best guy. Dude. Is there someone behind me? Can I give you a quick hug? No, absolutely. All right, all right, hang on a sec. I'm doing my calm, calm before the hopefully some, some sort yeah, of- As you guys can see, the mountain's looking beautiful right now. We're looking having gorgeous. plenty of people parking. Come here, buddy. Best this is my buddy right here, dude. Here. This is my buddy right here. That's my brother. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. How good, you doing? Good, man, good. Dude, good news. Uh, even though I suck at skiing, a friend of mine offered me his companion pass, which is, I guess. Oh, this one's oh so yeah. yeah. Copy. Ten 
for. You gotta go. But I'm I'm getting that companion pass from a friend who works the lift here. So hell yeah. So if if you ever want to smoke me up there, dude, hey, freaking teach me some lessons. No, no smoking, but there's only <laughs> drinking. On the mountain. <laughs> that makes just one of us. Hey. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. You too, man. You too. It was good seeing you. Good. Good to see you too. Guys, that's freaking Ryder right there. Hey, I can turn around right here, yeah? Yeah, you're good. Okay, all right. Later, dude. I love that guy so much. He is so cool. Just such a good, good soul. The man! That's the man right there. Later, Ryder. Yeah, that is so cool, guys. It's like everywhere I go, obviously it's a small town, but everywhere I go, I know someone and it's just, it's nice having that friendly neighbor type of a relationship up here. It's just super cool. So anyway, anywho, that made my morning. We're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna go through the village real quick to end this, to end this. Yes, it's going to be ended, sir. We are going to end it, sir. Oh, cheerio. Every time I try to speak in my British accent, I'm always thinking of, of my friends Paul from Great Britain and Wolf's, Wolf's Bane. They're friends of our channel. They are really, 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 really awesome people. Paul Slidell. This is a super, super cool dude. I'm telling you what, on this channel I've met a lot of great, 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 great people. Um, some of you guys have become my my best friends. Um, I, I get to see you guys, I get to hang out with you guys. I will always make an effort to meet you. Nin literally 95% of the time when you're here, I have a chance to at least come say hello. So. Um, not that I'm special, not that anyone would want to, I'm not trying to sound like that type of a guy, but I do love you guys. Without you guys, th this channel is nothing. So when you're up here, if you want to say what's up, hit me up. You know, I will find a way to at least meet you somewhere, swing through and just uh, shake your hand, give you a hug and then make like Tom and Cruise because I'm corny like that. Make like Tom and Cruise, right? So, but again, you guys are what this channel is all about. Um, I really enjoy what I do for you guys and it gives me a lot of pleasure as well. Especially when I can take turns like this and start sliding across the highway. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Can't wait for those days to come. Right now the temperature is currently 40 degrees. and. Uh, yeah, it feels colder than that though, but it's 40 degrees. We are on Big Bear Boulevard right now. I know this this map kind of isn't the isn't the greatest, but you can kind of see a little bit of where we're at. I'll try to do this more often, like 10 seconds here, 10 seconds there. I'll try to always remember to tell you guys where I'm at also, because I want you guys to know where you're at. I can't wait for the snow and I can't wait for the village to be covered in snow. It's, it, it turns into like the North Pole of what I imagine the North Pole would look like. And that would be our village covered in snow. There's Lenny's. No, it's Danny's. thought that was my mom right there. It's like, what are you doing up here without telling me? That was cool. My mom just left two days ago. I'm very, very grateful I got to spend Thanksgiving with her. Because with my my siblings, there's a, a major issue between me and my six other siblings. Um, my mom spends every other major holiday here here with me, which is which I'm just so thankful for. She's such a wonderful woman. That lady has put up with so much, guys, so much. I've been through, as a lot of you know, nine different 
rehab centers for alcohol and uh, other substances. And uh, she st stuck by my side the whole time, even though she was miserable through it. And uh, when I wasn't in those rehabs, she was always worried every night that she'd get that phone call at three in the morning that to come identify me or or something like that. So I'm just really, I'm just, guys, you have no idea how grateful I am that she doesn't have to think about that stuff anymore. Um, I never thought I was gonna get out of that. But those of you that are suffering, and I know one of my good friends on this channel is suffering right now. And you know, you just need to know that you are gonna be okay. You gotta believe in yourself. You have to understand that it's, it's probably gonna take some sort of support but you have to really be sick and tired of being sick and tired. You have to remember how important you are. Love yourself, not in a conceited way, but have a lot of love for yourself and know that you are worth it because the drink and the substances are no joke. That is no joke. And people are literally dropping like flies left and right because of that stuff. Um, just for me guys, life is so much better now that I'm 10 years, June, July, August, September, October, 10 years and five months, wow, without a single drink. It's just amazing. June 23rd, 2013 was it for me. Um, and again, I am so here for any of you that are struggling with that and suffering through that. It, if I can give you any hope, just real quick, it's that in this 10 plus years, I became fully self-sufficient. Well, basically, there's no one that I can re rely on for anything. As you guys know, for five years now, I've been paying for my mom's car, which leaves me with nothing every month after all the bills are paid, but everything that I put that woman through, it's a real blessing to be able to do that for her. Um, but everything in my life changed. I became self-sufficient, fully independent, able to give back, which I never thought I'd ever be able to in my entire life. Um, I moved up here don't have any family within like 50 or 60 miles. And just until two years ago, that was about 100 miles. Um, I started my, my, uh, my business up here. I also started a YouTube channel. I got married. And in that marriage, I, I got a few beautiful kids and even grandchildren. So yeah, guys, like everything happens in a positive way when you clean up your act it will always materialize sometimes quickly sometimes slowly but it will always materialize never forget i'm here for you guys i don't want to see anyone suffer let me help you if i can all right that's enough talkie talkie so right now we're on village drive and when we get back to the boulevard here we're gonna hang a roscoe diet so there's not much I can eat but that's okay this coming Saturday it will be five weeks that I've been on this diet maybe six and you won't believe it I started it right there at the bowling barn seeing my picture for the on the bowling screen I just couldn't couldn't handle it like I just right then and there I was like that's it that's it no more pizza, burgers, and fries for me. No more. I was looking way too fat. We have this hotel recorded on our, uh, what should we call it? The playlist for lodging. It's called the Marina Riviera. Really, really nice place. I recorded it once they were done doing their remodel. And as I've told all of you also, this place, Robin Hood Resort, this was where I used to come stay all the time when I first uh, started visiting Big Bear on my own. And uh, I just, I love it because of the nostalgia factor that it brings for me. But I think you guys would enjoy it. Not, not overly priced either. Very, very fair. Um, great staff. But yeah, most, most of these places, you guys, if you check out my playlist area of the channel, I have a lodging playlist. So you can see all the places I've stayed, 
I record the whole entire place, so um, you can you can really really get a good eye on what it looks like and what to expect. Anything I can do to help you guys to have a better experience here, I will always always be willing to do that for you. Because again, none of us get to live here if it wasn't for you guys coming up here and enjoying life, spending money. That's what this town needs is that infusion of your fiscal love. But yeah, guys. Hope everyone is really doing okay. I'm sure all of you have recovered from the food hangover from Thanksgiving. Um, I just wish you all a very happy rest of your holiday season. Definitely, uh, definitely want you all to be happy. Again, life is not easy. There's, there's so many difficulties and so much heartache and so much pain, but when those good moments come along, just grab onto them for dear life and feel them. Just feel the heck out of them. And never forget, you all are, are very, very special. Good, good friends of mine. I love you all so very much. And uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, the next video I make, if it's tonight, you, it's probably going to be our first snowflake. So... Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And in the meantime, I love you all. Um, if you like what I do, please like and subscribe and share. That would be awesome. It really does help, especially if you hit that like button right away when you watch the video. Um, it really does help because the more likes you have in a faster period of time, the more YouTube's going to push your video. So I would really like my video to be pushed. That would be great. Just shove the heck out of it. Teach it a lesson. Love y'all. Back on Moon Ridge Road. I'm going to sign out right now. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye, you guys.